Welcome, guys. Today, we shall be analyzing a structure with multiple degrees of indeterminacy. Okay, so we have three span continuous beam and with a member load of two kips per feet, and each span is 20 feet apart. So, next thing we do is open our start pro. Okay, open our start pro, give it any name you want. Um, structure two is okay. Choose your location. So, your unit, you're working with English. Okay, so create job. Okay. So the next thing we do, we can check our units here by searching units. Okay. Then whatever you want, it's already on kilo foot per kilo pound. Okay, so you then bring out your grid. Okay. So view, front view. Then you can draw it 20, 20 feet. But since there's no 20, you can just make a point here. Then turn off your grid. Select your node cursor. I like this geometry transitional repeat in the x direction 20 feet. How many times? Three times. Okay, so we can link steps. Okay, so we have it. So each beam is 20 feet, each span is 20 feet. Okay, so the next thing we do is to assign properties. So now, yeah, they said the elastic modulus is constant all through, so we can just assign any random section throughout since the elastic modulus is constant and everything will cancel out so elastic modulus let me use the section steel okay so i work with the british british let me use any section this and close assign to view assign assign okay next thing i do support so on the support we have pinned support and ruler support so i'll create pinned support and, and create ruler support so fixed bots now release moment in my x direction fz direction and mz direction to add okay so select node cursor i like the remaining node assign to selected node assign why this sorry okay Assign to selected node, assign, okay? So we have pinned ruler, ruler, and ruler, okay? Next thing we do is to load it now. So come to loading, this, add. So you can choose, what type of load are we using? Let's use none, so none, add, close, okay? So under this, add, then member load. So we are using a uniform force, and our uniform force is two keeps per feet, per foot, sorry. So you come here keeps so minus two keeps per foot in the global y direction add close assign to view assign okay then analysis define command normal first order analysis add close run analysis okay so we have zero error zero one in zero nodes so let's have our post processing results done apply okay so you can turn off your displacement okay so that's our reaction. We have 16, 43, 43, 16. Sorry. Okay. So see the results there. We have 16, 44, 44, 16. So it's approximately okay. Next thing. Let's see our what other result do they have there again. This is their shear force diagram. So this is our shear force diagram. So shear force and y. So this is it. Now you can zoom in by holding control key and scrolling up and down to increase the scale. Okay, this is it. Now we can see our bending moment diagram. Okay, see so the bending moment diagram. This is the bending moment diagram. But they've taken now they've taken it in the other direction. So they've taken positive in this direction. Why we've taken positive in our own direction here? Okay. So thank you for watching today's video. And please make sure you subscribe more. Thank you very much.